Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on 4 bar chain mechanism by relative velocity method. In this video, we are going to understand how to decide the direction for the angular velocity from the velocity diagram. So first, I will read what is the given problem. In a 4 bar chain ABCD, AD is fixed and is 150 mm long. The crank AB is 40 mm long and rotates at 120 rpm clockwise, while the link CD 80 mm oscillates about D. BC and AD are of equal length. Find the angular velocity of link CD when angle BAD is equal to 60 degree. So this was the given question. Now main important thing is that we have to draw the space diagram with some suitable scale. So if we observe these dimensions for this uh, 4 bar mechanism then here is 150 mm AB, 40 mm BC 150 and CD 80 mm. So here we will take scale 1 is to 1. That means we are going to take here AD 150 mm that means 15 cm. So we will take here AD 15 cm. So this is the fixed link. Now here is the bar AB which is making 60 degree angle and which is rotating in clockwise direction. So we have to take here as an angle of 60 degree and we have to take from that angle that is bar AB which is 4 cm long. Now how to select the point C? So here from point B we have to take the distance 15 cm in the compass and we have to select B as a center and mark here one arc and then we have to select D as a center and in compass we have to take 18 or 8 cm distance and here we have to mark the arc. So point of intersection is the point C and we have to join the points. So in this way the space diagram is getting completed. Now as per the given data we will first calculate what is the linear velocity for this bar AB. So here this rotational speed for B with respect to A is given. So we will have to denote here NBA. So why B is first? Because B is rotating and A is fixed and B is rotating about A. So we can say that the rotational speed of B with respect to A that is NBA is equal to 120 rpm. So from that we will calculate the omega BA. So omega BA 2 pi n by 60 that is 2 pi 120 by 60 which is equal to 12.568 rad per second. So from this omega we can calculate the linear velocity. So linear velocity VBA. So point A is fixed so we can also say VB which is equal to omega BA into AB. So this AB we have to take in meter. So 40 millimeter that means 0.04 meter. So when we calculate we will get here 0.503 meter per second. So this is the linear velocity for this VB. So from this linear velocity now we have to draw the velocity diagram with some suitable scale. So here we will take scale. 1 meter per second is equal to 20 centimeter. So our velocity is 0.503 meter per second. So what is the scale that we have to take? So we will make here the cross multiplication. So suppose I will select this term unknown term is a x. Then 0.503 multiplied by 20 divided by 1 which is equal to x. So it is equal to that is uh, if we calculate this we will get here 0.503 multiplied by 20 that is 10.06 so 10.06 centimeter that distance we have to take now how to uh, this is the magnitude that is we have to take this scale but what about the direction now if we observe for this uh, velocity of link BA that is this is the BA so we know that linear velocity is in the perpendicular direction to the link but in which direction that we have to select? So here rotation is given in clockwise direction. So it's a rotation is in the from left towards right direction. So we have to take the linear velocity in the direction of rotation. So I will 
make the perpendicular line passing through this point B. So how to make? So this is the protractor having two edges perpendicular to each other. So I will align one edge with this link and from the other edge I will draw here one perpendicular line. So this is the perpendicular line and this line we have to show the arrow in the direction of this rotation. So it is VB. Now in the same direction I have to draw the velocity vector. So if we observe this diagram, this point A and D, both are fixed points. So I will select one particular point and for velocity diagram, I will show here with small letters that is A comma D. Now I have to take the scale equal to 10.06 cm and direction. So here is the direction. So I will use here the same direction. Now initial point is A and what is the final point? Final point is B. So we have to show arrow also and this vector AB indicates the velocity of B with respect to A. So simply we can say VB. Now again we will move for the next. So for this point B link BC is getting connected. So how to show the velocity for this link BC? So we know that Velocity is always in perpendicular direction to the, to the link. So I will align one edge to the link BC and from the other edge I will draw here one construction line. So this line is perpendicular to the link BC. Now if I draw parallel line for this construction line and I will take here the line. Now we don't know uh, in which direction that is in from B we have to uh, see, we have to draw this line, perpendicular line in upward direction or downward direction. So currently I am taking the perpendicular line and I will draw here one line passing through point B in both the directions. Because currently we don't know any direction. Now we will move for the next. Now here the point C is unknown. So initial point is B and final point is C. So we don't know where is the location of point C. Now if we observe again here is the fixed point D and here is the point C. So D to C is getting connected. So how to indicate the velocity? So again we have to draw the perpendicular line to this link CD. So if I align one edge, so in this direction there is the velocity. So uh, we don't know in which direction that we have to select here. So currently I am taking this is the line perpendicular to this link CD. So I will transfer this perpendicular line from space diagram to the velocity diagram. So if we observe if I connect this on both the sides of this point D but here Towards the right hand side there is the point of intersection and this point of intersection we will say point C. So we have to remove this backward line, back, this is the back line and here this is below the point B we have to remove this line. So this is the initial point is B, final point is C. So I have to show arrow. So how we can indicate this? That is velocity of C with respect to B because initial point is B. Now here the initial point is D, final point is C. So velocity of C with respect to point D. So simply we can say VC. So this is the velocity diagram. Now we will transfer arrow from velocity diagram to the space diagram. So for VC that is VCD. So here is the link CD. The arrow is towards the right hand side direction. So if uh, I will take this perpendicular line, then the form velocity I will show here BC. Then for BC, arrow is in the upward direction. So this is the perpendicular line. So I have to show arrow in the upward direction and we will say this is the VCB. Now we will move for the calculation part. So here we have to measure what is the linear velocity of CD. So for that we will measure the vector CD. So vector CD is 8.2 cm. So here as per our scale 1 meter per second is 20 cm. So for 8 cm here is the question mark. So we have to make here cross multiplication. So suppose this term unknown term is x. That is 8 into 1 which is equal to 20 into x. So x is equal to 8. Here 8.2. So 8.2 divided by 20. So which is equal to 0 0.41 meter per second. 
So this is the velocity of C with respect to D. Now how to find out the angular velocity? So for that we know length of CD, link CD is 80 millimeter and that is equal to 0.08 meter. So omega CD is equal to 0.41 divided by 0.08 that is equal to 5.125 rad per second. Now the main important question is that what is the direction for this omega? So if we observe omega CD that is angular velocity of point C with respect to point D that, that means we have to take here center this point D and now in the direction of this velocity that is velocity is towards the right hand side direction we have to move the compass by taking D as a center. So if we move the compass then here is the direction that is the clockwise. So we can say that omega CD is clockwise above D. And this is the answer.